This is our grandma, Helen Whitaker. Calling her our grandma is an understatement. She was also our friend, confidant, co-conspirator, role model, and inspiration. She was the central hub of our family, the one that held us all together, our foundation. She was such an amazing person. There is hardly a place we can go in Le Rue or Marion without someone telling us how special she was to them. For us, it's impossible to talk about our grandma without mentioning our grandfather, Walter. They were married on July 4th, 1947, and spent over 50 years together before he passed away. As our grandpa got sicker, we came to greatly admire grandma's strength, will, and compassion as she took care of him, not out of a sense of duty, but out of deep and devoted love. Family was always very important to grandma. She came from a big family and was very close with her brothers and sisters. They were a huge part of her life, and when we stayed with Grandma, they became a part of our lives as well. One of the greatest gifts Grandma gave us was getting to know all of her amazing brothers and sister. Grandma was very proud of being a wife and a mother to our father Bill, Aunt Kathy, and Uncle Don. She said being a mother was her most important job, and she was proud of being named Mother of the Year by the Wyandotte County Association for the Mentally Retarded. She was one of a group of concerned parents who helped to start the Angeline School for the Disabled, which Grandma considered to be the greatest accomplishment she had made. Starting Angeline was their dream, and she helped to make it happen. For us, though, the things that made Grandma special were the little things, and those are the things that we will remember and miss most about her. How when we went to visit her, she always had our favorite foods ready for us and all the hours she spent cooking for us and sewing and making things for us. How she wanted us to learn to cook and how disappointed she was when we couldn't even use a can opener or use a mixer to mash potatoes. How we can never go out anywhere without her bumping into someone she knew and all her great friends from church and Mary circle we got to meet and get to know. All the times we went shopping together, especially picking out clothes, and how she'd always choose the bright red or bold pink, and how she'd sigh when we inevitably chose a drab color like black or gray. All the hours we spent playing games together, especially Euchre and Pinochle and Jeopardy, and how we'd always have to laugh whenever she got a Bible question wrong. How she called us every Sunday night to check up on us. Some of the misadventures we had with Grandma's driving, especially the time she was pulling out of the bank and missed a stop sign and sighed, I hope no one saw me, just before we heard loud honking and looked back and saw Alan Hughes laughing hysterically in the car behind us. And all the places we went together and all the fun times we shared, especially during her visit to Washington, D.C., and how she walked for miles and miles without ever complaining even letting Brooke borrow her cane because she would never use it herself. Our favorite photo of that visit is of at Grandma at Mary's school posing for a picture on the slide in the playground because it encapsulates everything we loved about Grandma, her easygoing nature and her sense of humor and fun. In the last few days, we have spent time going through some of Grandma's old things, including letters and emails she had sent us, which is great to be able to capture Grandma's spirit and all of her sayings like, about the raccoons in her backyard going to raccoon heaven, or how she was going to take a hammer to her computer, or how she may have said too much in an email and gotten in a little trouble, but never to sweat the small stuff. Most of all, though, her letters and emails were telling us not to worry about anything and everything will be okay. And those are her words we miss the most. Her unflinching optimism and her strength in times of crisis and her belief and faith that everything would work out for the best. We always tried to be good granddaughters to Grandma and probably fell short more than a few times, but we know she knew how much we loved her and admired her. We wouldn't be who we are today without her, and we'll always be grateful for the times we shared with her and Grandpa in La Rue, Ohio. Grandma always said what she wanted most was a happy family, and one thing we can say is we were always happy when we were with Grandma. We love you, Grandma. Goodbye.